Hi everyone, this is Aki with another quick video on ScreenFlow and how to create style presets. Something that you can, these are like shortcuts basically that you create and any kind of edits that you're making constantly, repeatedly in your video recordings and editing, then you can just lay down quickly reuse them so i have this sample recording in screenflow and i have this facetime recording and i usually make the same changes to all my facetime recordings so if you go if you click make sure it's selected it's yellow border across your track you go to video at the top and then actions you can add an action to it and most of mine i you know i set at certain size so i'm going to do like maybe 54% of the regular size. Then, you know, maybe I wanna crop it from top to bottom. If, you know, if I'm re removing background, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to show you for the exercise. And then I usually add certain filters, um, always kind of the same to keep it consistent, maybe at 42%. And then I also like to remove a background so I choose that, remove a background. And this is kind of the thing that I do all the time. And then once I, you know, have the editing that I usually do, I click on the cube next to action. And here I have some that I already saved, but I'm going to use this one as an example to show you how to save one if you're doing it first time. You click on the plus. And this is actually uh, asking you if you want to save all these action you've done. And you see, it has the cropping that I've done, the filter, the position. So I moved my video and the scale. And I'm like, yeah, if you want to uncheck something, maybe the position, you don't want to save that as a preset, but I'm going to just keep all um, true. And then click plus again. And now you're going to name it. And I yeah, usually like to name it with things that I have in my preset, but for this purposes of this video, I'm just going to call it test preset. And then you enter again to save it. Now, if you want to ever update the filter, let's say, let's say after this, I'm, I made a change. Maybe I'm going to do 70% now. So if I go to my preset, click that preset and say update. So now, um, it should make it update. So let's see if this is the case. Let me undo and let's try to add the preset. Select the cube. Yep, it did change it, updated with my other change. So this is the way to save it. Now, if you wanna ever delete a preset, you still go to the cube, you select your preset, you can rename it here. You can also delete it. Um, so then, you know, if you don't want to this one, you just click delete and it's gone. You can also select to have your preset go back to the defaults, but I don't want to do that. Now you can also do another ones that I use a lot is for my audio. I'm going to detach my audio here and for my audio, I select the audio at the top. And then here, you usually I do, you know, I change, maybe I smooth volume levels and uh, maybe remove some, some background, maybe at like 30%. And then I select the cube at preset, select all the options I just made changes to and say test. And the same thing, you know, it's um, it going to be available to me whenever I need to make the same edit over and over again. I just go to preset, select it, and it's done. Um, another one that I also use a lot is callouts. I use that a lot because a lot of my videos and recordings have information that I add to my videos, like additional information. So um, if I click action and I have already some presets here, but I'll show you how to save one. I like to use freehand. Um, maybe 10% opacity. So the background is at 10% opacity. You can also blur the background if you like. I like to zoom maybe to 150. And I also like to have um, animation build in, build out. So it comes in smoothly without um, 
it's not too abrupt. And then I can save this as a preset. So I'm going to plus, select all the option and say test. And now, you know, I'm going to um, still pick something. And now you don't see it selected because I have delay action. If I click play, it's doing it. And now I'm going to see another place on the, in the video. Let's say I'm going to go here. Okay, here. And I'm going to try to add the call out action, click action and select my preset. And now I can again, select maybe something and play and it's doing the same thing. You see, so with the call out action, it's a little bit tricky. The workflow order what you do so you select the preset but then you have to select you know what you're calling the place where you're selecting so that's the only difference from the other presets now another one that i use a lot and it's very useful is the text preset you select the text and now i click text and i also have i have the presets here so basically i type and i just want to be consistent you know sample and I like to use these and want to have a consistent, you know, font. So I like to select something that I like. So I'm going to select Montserrat, maybe 72%. I want to make sure it's white and I want to have a backdrop of black, but I like to have it at 85% opacity. So I have something like this. So then I can also, you know, save this as a preset. So then every time I have text that I'm adding to my recordings, I don't have to, you know, redo it. So let's test it out. I'm going to select another option. I'm going to say text and I'm going to I'll make sure it's there and select the preset. And you see that it's changed. Um, you don't see the color because the color is consistent with the default, but let's see if the opacity was selected to 85 it was so now I know that I'm using the preset so this will help you make your editing process much faster especially if you're making the same edits over and over again and repeatedly so thanks so much for watching